Welcome back to a new cooking video. I'm Chef DeVille and today I'm going to teach you how to make bao buns. Something like this. Well, not this one because this was rock solid because it's a few days old. But I'm going to show you how to make a super tender, super fluffy, delicious bao bun that you can fill with your ingredients to make the perfect bao bun. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Let's go. The first step is taking 12 grams of yeast and adding it to 255 grams of room temperature milk and just letting it dissolve into the milk. Now while that's dissolving, let's take care of the rest of the ingredients. For that you're going to add 545 grams of flour, 7 grams of salt, 52 grams of sugar, 3 grams of baking powder, 3 grams of baking soda. Now mix it all a little bit so the milk doesn't just hit those ingredients just added. And then we're going to add that yeasty milk we dissolved and you're going to add 70 grams of melted butter now make sure the melted butter is not too hot because if it's over 45 46 degrees celsius it will kill the yeast so make sure you just heat it up melt it and let it cool down now you're going to turn your mixer on to high power at the start just to incorporate all the ingredients and then you're going to turn it to low and mix it for 10 minutes and this will make a very elastic dough that sticks to itself. It's very important to have a good 10 minute mix to make it elastic. Now you can see this is a very nice dough to work with because it just sticks to itself. You don't have to worry about it sticking to your hands or to the board or anything. It's very nice. What we're going to do is we're going to make this into a sphere. So for this I'm just going to remove this from here. And what you can do is just turn it in on itself or you can just roll it into a ball. Whatever makes it into a sphere is good because we're going to still need to prove this. So here I'm just turning it in on itself and then cupping it down like this. Now you can place it right into the mixing bowl again or you can put it in another bowl with a little bit of greased surface so it doesn't stick to it. And just place it in there for an hour to prove. Now you're going to cover it with a damp cloth. This will make sure that it doesn't dry out too much. Now when it proves, it will double in size. So it'll go from this to this. And now it's ready for rolling. Okay, so now to roll out your dough, you place it on a cutting board that's been lightly greased so it doesn't stick to it. And just roll it out with a rolling pin until it's half a centimeter thick. That's one fifth of an inch. Now just roll it out nice and evenly and try to get it to exactly that thickness. And once you've done rolling, now this rolling surface that I've rolled is super, super smooth. And the other side is slightly bubbly and bumpy. So I'm going to turn it around to get very smooth bow buns. For some reason, if you roll it and the other side's on a cutting board, it just makes it very weird. So you want that to be on the outside. I'm going to lightly roll it just so it flattens. And here I'm just going to cut out little circles with a cookie cutter, which is 10 centimeter diameter. And just try to make as many as you can out of this dough. Now remove the excess and we're going to use this in a separate way in a second, but for now just remove it. Now these circular dough bits, we're going to need to grease them up. For that, I've got a little spray system for oil, which I've filled with sesame seed oil and I'm just going to lightly spray it. If not, you can just put a drop and spread it out with your finger. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to want to very gently pull up the one side and make it into a little taco shape of dough. And these will form your little bao buns. Okay, once you've done that, then you just want to roll over it with a rolling pin very gently just to press them together and shape them a little bit thinner and more in the right shape. Then we're going to move our little bow buns. So for that, I'm going to pick it up and place it on a little bit of baking paper. And now I'm going to transfer these to a tray. And I'm just going to cover this so that they don't lose too much humidity. You're going to want to let them prove again for half an hour to an hour, depending on the temperature, so that they rise up again. Now cover it with cling film so it doesn't dry out. Now that excess bao bun stuff removed, we're going to take that dough and make it into bao bun burgers. And for that, we're going to weigh it out to 100 grams. So once you hit 100 grams, you're just going to want to remove your dough and make it into a little sphere. For that, again, you just roll it and turn it in on itself a little bit just like this. And then once you've rolled it into a nice little sphere, you're gonna place this on another piece of baking paper. And then you're gonna spray it with some sesame seed oil and add some sesame seeds to make a little burger bun. And then again, also prove this for a full hour. Okay, now to cook your bao buns, you're gonna place them into a little steam tray like this. And then you're gonna warm up some water until it starts to give off steam and place this on top of it. 
and you're gonna need to cook the burger buns for eight minutes but the bao buns only for five minutes. Once that's done, they should look like this. Beautiful steamy bao buns. Now just lift up your little trays and remove them. Now, to add food into it, you just separate at the seam with the oil and then here you can just add your ingredients. And as you can see, look at the airiness and just lightness of these buns. They're just so full of air and if you squish them, they become super flat because it's just air. And it's just so tender, so delicious. And look at all those little pockets of air, they're just great. This is the perfect bao bun. It's got a nice bounciness to it. It's just beautiful. Okay, so that's how you make a bao bun. Now, if you wanna make it a little bit more fluffy and light, you can add 50 to 20 grams of milk to the original recipe and that will make it more fluffy, but the outside texture of the bun will become a little bit more rough and rugged looking. So that's a, a give and take sort of situation because it becomes more fluffy because the yeast is more reactive when there's more liquids. So that makes it puff up more, let's say. Okay, so to fill it, all you have to do is just open up your bao bun and then you add some sauce, you add maybe a vegetable and then your meat. And there you go, you can enjoy your beautiful bao buns. Now for the burger buns, they look like this and they're super delicious too. Also, another great thing to do so your dough doesn't go to waste is you weigh out 100 grams, making the same uh, shape as the burger, and then you want to fry it. You fry it in deep fryer for four minutes, two minutes on one side, two minutes on the other side, and then you take it out, let it rest a little bit, and then refry it again for another four minutes, two minutes on each side, at 170 degrees Celsius, and that's just so that it cooks all the way through. Then you cut it in half, and you put a disc of ice cream on top, and then you add a little bit of dulce leche on top and you've got a delicious dessert. It's really amazing and it's great because you're saving on wasting this dough. So you have loads of different options to be able to do things with it so you don't waste any dough. Uh, give that a try. And one more option you can do to your bao buns is you can add some food coloring in the stage just after mixing it or just before mixing it and you can have colorful bao buns. Like for example this purple one I'm showing you right here but you can go with any color and any food color and you can also try some natural food colorings like squidding to get black. Uh, just go crazy, go wild. And in a separate video, I'm gonna show you guys how to fill it with different fillings. But I just wanted to get the bao bun right in this video so you have the tools to make the perfect bao bun. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Goodbye.